29 forecast. You are looking live at good visibility as we look out there across Charlottesville and Central Virginia as viewed by our Carter Mountain weather camera. The clouds are increasing and the breezes are going to pick up over the next several hours. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. Let's get you set up for the St. Patrick's Day Sunday for Charlottesville and Central Virginia. This is your first forecast. It will be dry, I guarantee it today, but the clouds have been increasing. We may get some breaks of sun later on in the 50s this morning and mid to upper 60s for the second half of the day. That's warmer than average, but a little cooler compared to the past few days. In that first forecast for the Shenandoah Valley, Harrisonburg, Stanton, Waynesboro, rising through the 40s and 50s and mostly low 60s for daytime highs with a blend of clouds and some sunshine with a gusty west to the northwesterly wind. And yesterday we didn't have a cloud in the sky. Check out our viewer photo coming to us from Augusta County. Blue sky sunshine into the Mount Sydney area. Thanks to Janet Brathwaite to showing us some of the early flowers blooming there across the valley with those ornamental pear trees and lots of sunshine, blue skies up above. And today, though, not quite as bright blue, but hey, keep those pictures coming. We enjoy seeing what's going on in your neighborhood. The easiest way to get us your pictures and videos from your smartphone or tablet is through the Storm Team 29 Weather app. So if you see it, snap it and send them our way. Numbers across the board are wide ranging. If you have a light breeze during the air, well, you're in the 60s. If you're calm, you're in the 40s and the lower 50s. So you'll need that jacket this morning and the windbreaker as we head through the afternoon as those breezes begin to pick up. But dry skies will continue for a while longer despite a cold front. Yeah, you typically cold fronts will give us some rain showers this time of the year, but not today. All the rain is pointed north, the Keystone State of Pennsylvania, Empire State of New, of New York. Our wind flow is down sloping. It comes down the mountain and that's going to dry us out and keep us briefly mild, at least for this afternoon, but tonight, tomorrow, look at this bubble of chilly air across the Great Lakes that is heading our way for a couple of days and overnight. Our high res weather tracker is showing the clouds moving in, moving out, clearer skies tonight. A few clouds return on Monday, but overall we're going to see a cooling trend cold enough for our neighbors to the west to see snow showers across the Allegheny Highlands and the Potomac Highlands and snowshoe will pick up some light accumulation, but nothing here at home. So northwest winds today 20 35 miles per hour, a little less wind tonight, but tomorrow northwest winds anywhere from 20 to 30 miles per hour, bringing in those cooler conditions. We are dry with that high pressure dome over the area on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and most of Friday. But then Friday night, Saturday time frame, here comes our next best chance of rain. And right now the projections keep the heaviest rain near and east of I-95. For us right now, it looks like light rainfall amounts. In your storm team, 29 report today, clouds and sun still mild with highs in the lower 60s for the valley, mid to upper 60s across central Virginia. That's about 10 degrees warmer than average though for this time of the year. Tonight, blustery and dry with overnight lows near freezing in Harrisonburg, mid to upper 30s, Waynesboro, Charlottesville over into orange and your forecast on Monday back to work in school. It'll be a cooler day, 40s in the valley, low to mid 50s across the central Virginia. Seven day forecast, chilly overnights and pleasant days, mid 50s on a Tuesday. The vernal equinox is Tuesday night. The first day of full spring is going to be on Wednesday day in the 60s, 60 Thursday with sunshine and the 50s on Friday and increasing clouds Friday night, Saturday time frame, our next best chance for at least some rainfall. And uh, tell me, Josh, I know the Charlottesville 10 milers in about next week or so. What can we expect then? Oh, good question. It looks like starting morning cannot roll out some rain, at least right now. Keep checking back for updates on that. Awesome. Thank you so much.